This video will cover the topic using a graphing calculator to solve a word problem involving a local extremum of a polynomial function. Remember that the word local extremum means a minimum or a maximum value within a certain interval on a graph. Let's look at an example problem. On a rectangular piece of cardboard with perimeter 19 inches, three parallel and equally spaced creases are made. The cardboard is then folded along the creases to make a rectangular box with open ends. Letting x represent the distance in inches between the creases, use the Alex graphing calculator to find the value of x that maximizes the volume enclosed by this box. Then give the maximum volume. Round your responses to two decimal places. So let's first think of what we need for this problem. We need the, we need the full dimensions for the box. We already have width and height for, this, for the box, but we don't have the length. So we'll let L represent our length for the box. And we need to figure out the maximum volume. In order to do this, we need to make a system of two equations. One equation for the perimeter of the cardboard piece, and the other equation for the volume of the folded box. Where should I start? It seems like there's so much to think about in this problem. I think it best to start with our given information. We already know that the perimeter of the cardboard is 19 inches. And we know that the width and the height of the rectangular prism are equal, and they are called x. Let's first write an equation for our perimeter of the unfolded cardboard in terms of x and l. Write it as 8x plus 2l equals 19, because there are 4x's here, 4x's here, 1l here, and 1l here. And when that all add together, equals 19 inches. Now we need an equation for the volume, which we will call v, of the folded cardboard. What is the formula for volume of a rectangular prism? It's length multiplied by width multiplied by height, right? Yes, it is. It is V equals LWH. L for L length, W for width, and H for height. So using the variables that we are using, we have V equals L times X times X. Because L is length, and X is width, and X is height. In order to get a function that we can graph in the graphing calculator, we need to have only V and X, or V as a function of X. We need to get rid of the L. How can we do that? Could we use the other equation to make a substitution? That is exactly what we do. We have to first solve the other equation for L, and then we will plug that into L in the volume equation. So in order to solve this equation for L, we can subtract 8x on both sides. To get 2L, equal to 19 minus 8x, then divide by 2 on both sides, we get L equals 9.5 minus 4x. We can now plug in this solution for L into the volume equation to get V equals L becomes 9.5 minus 4x. times x times x. Or we'll write it as v equals x squared times 9.5 minus 4x. Is that an equation that we can now graph on a calculator? Yes, and that's what we'll do right now. Under y equals, under y1 we type in x squared times 9.5 minus 4x. If you are mainly used to equations with x and y, and it seems strange to you to have an equation with v and x, just think of v as y in this equation. As long as we have one variable that is set equal to a mathematical expression involving another variable, we can graph it. Now click on graph to view the graph for this function we have just typed. So. Because we're asking to find the maximum possible volume, does that mean it is at the peak of this graph? Very good. The peak or local maximum of this graph is the solution to this problem. To find out exactly what this point is, click on extrema, 
Then we enter in our left and right bound. We know that x can't be less than 0. So type 0 for left bound. And then it looks like the maximum goes past 2.5 or around 2.5. So we'll try 2.5 for our other for our right bound. Then click maximum. And the coordinates of the point will appear. Rounding to two decimal places, we see that the point is 1.58 comma 7.94. What does this mean? This means that the maximum volume is 7.94 cubic inches, and that the x value that maximizes volume is 1.58 inches. Very good. That's how you can use a function to find maxima or minima in a real-life situation.